put on the mix up. Like the cinnamon and get this sweet. Yeah, it tins. That's the only tins. Yeah. Okay, we can get the bamboo on there. And I thought food shop with Laurel. She just kind of stares at me. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Exactly. All right. Now. Then a hold of the cost by the hotel for a box of the gate. We'll set up a skip. Okay. Guess I should, uh, take a look. I didn't do that. My friggin' Wi-Fi now is go fucking. I don't know why. FBI surveillance pictures of the Confederate Brigade collected from the counterintelligence office. Three cheers for domestic spies. They managed yeah. to capture quite a few Hallmark moments outside their primary hangout. Oh, Dixie bootleg. Rural Duke Joe and I helped shut down for running moonshot back in 81. We uploaded several photos on our system, and so far, this is what we got from the analysis. I found three members of law enforcement who hung out with the brigade on a regular basis. One of them could be two. Sebastian said that the killer was between 5, 6, and 5, 8. Solid ice rock. From yesterday, we got a big break. Three to the low. Pilot analysis on this house. Age progression. Bob's not going anywhere, you know. He's not going. Yeah, he's not. No, 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 right. He's not. He's here to speak to your father about his involvement in the murder of Jacob Tarver. I mean, you, you, you're just so desperate to get to me that you make up some cockamamie story about my father and some old murder. You know what different story I'm saying? Did you speak to anybody? Lady says she she don't think she ever even forgot uh, uh, um yeah and 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 funeral thing I only like illimited T bone T bone uh, uh, isn't that a cut of meat it's also apparently your father's nickname yeah so, so at the funeral I I, I Thursday so I mean Friday Friday the funeral on Friday so on the Tuesday Wednesday. He was a highly decorated Navy Chief Petty Officer that you took an extra liking to. Eight unlawful arrests, six months. I know he always said, how else do you, you think you're going to get this? You don't have a friend to admit that he got tired of my harassing him and he fought back and I lost control and I strung him up. Okay, so so if you could get that then, then that's, that's, that's it. Three both seen that old man. That's no big deal. That's the, the thing to, you know. Huh? Well, that was a pathetic ploy. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, you got the thing on order. Junction to stop the inflammation of Jacob Tarlow. I say to take that. I say that to my father. And I will make things better. Where did the what? If you don't necessarily. In a second. You know yeah, 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 yeah. When I text her, that's what she said. But yeah, that's so so work with what you're working with, and let me know what's up. Hell no. Why would you want to go up the front Friday morning? And and so I said, find out. You gotta go do your homework first. So how about this? Well, in the daytime, what evening? I go someplace where I can see him, and I'm gonna come back. Of Jacob Tarlow's death. Yeah. I didn't hear what you said, so I wouldn't go no Friday morning. Friday is a funeral, so all you will do go Friday morning. Uh. No, but you don't find anything to talk about, okay? Bye.
But when the dead have something to say, not even time will shut them up. Normally, in a hanging, one would expect broken bones in the neck due to asphyxial resistance. You mean when someone struggles as they're being choked? Exactly. Jacob Lapp fractures along the vertebrae, which means his body was relaxed, like a, a drunk driver avoids injury after passing out of the wheel. Jacob wasn't conscious? I believe he was dead before he was hung. And my supposition is reinforced by a depressed fracture like this one, caused by an extreme blunt force at the point of impact. And the tomb of attack often causes an indentation in the shape of the object used. I'll give you three guesses. First two don't count. He was drunk. Tom Hamilton encountered Tarlow. There's some sort of an incident. Hamilton gets a hold of Tarlow's gun. And uses the blunt weapon to kill Jacob. Hangs him about what he's done. And then maybe as insurance. Sells a gun to Brick. Says it shouldn't ever be found. All signs point towards the brigade and the lynching. Have I ever told you how high I get from tracking down the truth? Thank you, Dwayne. Then you want to tie Tom Hamilton to the gun. Because of Loretta's discovery, I stopped looking at the gun ballistically and examined it materially from a blunt force trauma perspective. So, to raise this serological titanic, I had to use a technique I perfected called the jellyfish effect. Some jellyfish are incandescent under black lights, kind of like nature's glow sticks. 